Every piece has its own sort of DNA, which means when you have the original thought for any movement, the original idea, no matter what it is, if it's about time, if it's about a specific sound, if it's even something more abstract about a color or about an image, that original idea becomes the DNA of that movement. And I try and develop everything organically from that original thought, so that every note, every gesture, every phrase, every thought in that movement is somehow related to this birth. There is a sense amongst all the people that, that live here and that have always lived here, that the land itself is sacred, that the land itself uh, is a religion in a certain sense. It's a philosophy, it's a religion, it's a way of life. And when I live here, when I'm here in my house, where really I don't hear anything but natural sound. I don't hear any cars. I don't hear any man-made noises. What I hear is the wind. I hear the water. And I feel all of these things.
I think that, that Mark specifically is the kind of person that uh, is so happy and in a way grateful, but at the same time very happy to hear the music, to hear his music. I think that it touches him in such a way that is so powerful for him. The feeling of, of thanking, trying to thank you, you know, in a way. He's almost saying thank you for playing the music, but he's not, of course. We, we do it because we like the music, because we think it's good. But his feeling of, of you playing the music is like, wow, it's, it's really amazing that you're playing it. And so when he's doing it himself, he sometimes forgets to explain to you um, what he really wants. Or he explains something that has nothing to do with what actually he says or what he really wants. Uh, and then finally, if I do something that I instinctively would do anyway, if he didn't say anything, he said, that's, that's what I want, that's what I want. <laughs> so it, it's a funny reaction. In this environment, looking out at the mountains, walking in the land that uh, is around my house and listening to all of the vibrations that come from this isolation, uh, the music flows very easily and very naturally in my mind, in my body, and it's, uh, it's something that I can listen to that I can be in touch with and that I can get onto the paper. To play here, coming from home, coming from my house, driving to Santa Fe to give a concert is 
a little bit different because I'm so close to the place and I'm so close to the people that I'm very aware of it being something special for me. It's uh, much more emotional because I'm playing for specific people. I'm playing for an audience that I know. I'm playing for an audience that has emotional connection to my life. And therefore, it becomes uh, a much more personal experience. In addition, to do that and play my own music becomes even more of a contact with people on a personal level as opposed to an audience which is basically anonymous in a dark hall in some place. experience uh, a few years, a couple of years ago, Mark and I were playing a recital in Washington, Oreg in Washington State, and they were, uh, they invited the whole school system, about 800 children, uh, in the afternoon, and we went and played for one hour. Exactly the same music we were playing at night. And it was his music, and I think, in fact, we played the Frank Sinatra, a little bit. And before that, there were many people asking him, about little ones, four, five, six years old. What should we do with that? I said, bring them, bring them, bring them. They were afraid. The teachers were all afraid to bring these kids. <clears throat> I said, don't be afraid, it's okay. So we came to the hall, I think it was about three o'clock. Five minutes before, I asked to see the little kids. I said, bring them so I can meet them. The teacher said, oh, okay. Oh, about maybe 30 of them. They came downstairs and I said, how you doing? And they say, oh, hi. I said, okay, now listen, quiet down. It's downstairs. And I went and I played, dun, 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 Sesame Street. 
I said, anybody know that? They all, yeah, Sesame Street. I said, good. I said, now upstairs, I'm not going to play Sesame Street on the stage. I'm going to play very serious music. And I said, if one of you makes one sound, I stop and you're going out. <gasps> Immediately, they got scared. I said, don't do that. I said, you got, and I said, and you're going to sit like this in a semicircle on the stage, right next to me on my, you know. And the teacher said, uh, Mr. Zuckerman, are you sure? I said, absolutely. So they came, they sat on the stage, and they never did for 40 minutes, not one word. Like that, you know, because the music is so powerful. And it's powerful not just because of the harmony, it's that energy. You feel extraordinary energy when you play.